last time you expressed some, uh, you weren't that happy with the directives that you had there? Did you want to take a look at your playbook and see if there were other directives you wanted to, to pick or you wanted to modify those directives that you had? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take a look. I mean, there's okay. only one more session left, so I don't know that really matters that much, no, this I guess. Tonight, but, this, this tonight and, um, and next session, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Plus, it might affect your play style. So, I mean, you know, the choices that you make. So, if you yeah. want something to drive you in another direction. Yeah. It's up to you. You brought it up as an issue last time. So, I wanted to make sure that yeah, I no, yeah, space thank you. To, I, to do that. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a, um, a negative play experience element for me. But, <clears throat> uh, I mean, you know, it's we're basically at the end of the game. So, it's, I'm, try, it's try super generous to Xavier. Much. That might be a good directive. <laughs> Mm. <clears throat> you feel better. Uh, in any case, uh, uh, so let us uh, begin. Does anybody has anybody bought any moves I should know about? I'm gonna buy a move. Um, what do you think? I was just thinking. I wasn't sure what move to get though. Um, well. <laughs> I just saw one that that uh, uh, that I'm yeah. actually not going to get, but for Hunter, mm -hmm. and it was like when the action phase start, you get a gear and an intel. Hmm. Pretty cool. I mean, it's, uh, when the action that phase is cool. Starts. Essentially, uh, when you go on a mission and you start rolling for oh, shit, oh, gotcha, gotcha. it's in Hunter called See the Angles. Mm -hmm. I or think it's cold pretty... intel and gear. I don't know what that means. I think I'm pretty good with tech stuff. I mean, I, 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 my character isn't very survivable. Maybe I need to, and I haven't bought a single piece of equipment at all. So maybe I need some kind of like armor or jacket or something to. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you're welcome to look into the killer book, but um, uh, as far as you need permission for that, I don't mind. But one thing that you're kind of like focusing in on really seems to be driver. Um, more than anything else, maybe you could look through the driver book and see if something fits mm. in there with your drone stuff. That's a good idea. Let me take a look. Uh, driver. Is anybody else uh, buying a move this week? We don't Not have buy it. Buying move, but I am binding using my super advanced to, to buy my mind up to three. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. You are fancy and sharp there, sir. I could have used that to to lower one of our clocks, but yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, we don't give a shit. Let we don't go. have a driver, do we, amongst us? Nope. Nope. So you don't need permission. Could have dropped that, that thing right down to 1800. They would have loved us again. <laughs> so... Carl. Yes. Xavier, um, we take up after the mission, a successful mission, uh, one in which you got paid. Um, you guys are, uh, you know, at your various uh, holdouts. You at the, the church, sort of in the, the, again, the Atlanta, Jacksonville Metroplex. Um, and uh, you will get a, a call, um, uh, essentially from a guy you know that kind of is a, a middleman. Uh, between different people, and uh, he says, uh, "What's your last name, Xavier?" He has no last last name. He's Xavier. Just Xavier. Uh, Xavier. There's a guy who knows you, who's been looking on the down low to have a quick conversation with you. Um, he has the details on it. It's just a it's just a phone call. Um, uh, uh, can't should I pass him over to you, or or should I just cut him off? Who, who is this guy that I? I, I don't know. Is, you got a vouch? No, no, no. Who is the guy that I'm oh, talking? Oh, this is a middleman. This is just a middleman guy. Okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah, he's like it's. It, it came through uh, a guy I know who knew a guy who's in the hold, in the biz. So, lo, lo, hold on a second. I won't miss this. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, you want to, you know, you want to talk to him or should I just, just, uh, you yeah, know? Yeah, I'll talk. Okay. 
and uh, you know he'll he'll patch you in you know secure black box line all that kind of thing uh, to this guy and uh, the guy goes uh, Mr. Xavier yes um, I don't know um, I don't want to say too much ID uh, on this call here um, but you you and your friends pulled my bacon out of the fire um, when that vessel went down and you like came back for me I I am talking to that guy right yeah okay um look uh I have to tell you something and I need you to, to, to just uh, so I've been doing stuff I have it seemed to me like shit had gone kind of weird there. I knew things weren't exactly on the up and up. I don't know if it was who it was, if it was that team that went in before. What I don't, I don't. I, quite frankly, I don't give a shit. Um, but uh, I had a bad feeling, so I went and laid low with a cousin of mine who does some shady stuff. Um, so I've been kind of off the grid. Uh, you know those other guys that you pulled out of the water. Um, somebody's killing them. Uh, as far as I can tell, they've all been offed. Um, and the word that I got is that... I mean, the other guys who were working the... Uh, he's, he's meaning the other guys yeah, who worked... He, yeah, the, the other, all, the, all the other workers on the rig that you pulled to safety. Um, the word that I'm getting is that <laughs> someone... And I'm not sure who it is, if it's if it's Savage Pharma, if it's Wayland Yutani, or somebody else. Um, but uh, they are eliminating anyone who had any contact with that that mission, any contact with what went on there. Uh, they, I tried to track down a team of people who'd been on the the rig like a few days before. They kind of had swapped out. And they're gone. Um, and I've heard tell that anybody with that was sort of in close range in the shoreline, um, the buildings there, like they got toasted. So somebody's doing some serious fucking cleanup. On the shoreline? You mean 30 miles away? Yeah. Yeah. Essentially where there were boat launches and stuff, they were able to track back where things went on and, and follow it back to there was a skirmish, some kind of firefight. Um, and apparently they they did scorched earth around there. So in my estimation, how many guys is he talking about? Is it 40, 50, 100, uh, you know, 1,000? What's, what's my estimation? That would be, that would He's be probably saying. talking, I mean, you know. There's 100 exactly. people. Well, no, that's all right. There wasn't. There, there were only them. about a dozen survivors. Yeah, and then, but on the um, and then on, 30 on the, miles away. On the shoreline there, I mean, if there's buildings and stuff, you're, asking, you're at least got a couple dozen more people there. Plus, he's talking about a team that was was on the rig before they got sent out. So that might be, an, I mean, we might be talking five or six dozen people. Sure. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, what I talk to him about and go, um, and I'm going to, I'm basically going to try and fast talk him to, to say something uh, to see if he actually is who he is by... Um, Mentioning a detail that is either clearly wrong, or um, you know, like a, a like for instance, the supervisor's name. Um, it was because you know we we talked to him for oh, a little yeah. bit. Him, I'm a people person, and so I'm just trying to figure out if he's actually the guy, or if he's setting me up. Sure, um, I would say because you did all the background work on that and stuff that uh, uh, this isn't something we need to roll because this is what okay. you do. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, and yeah, he, he, he legit. He's very, he's very legit. Okay. Oh yeah. He sounds legit to you. Okay. Um, do you want to leave? Let's see. Uh, this is very interesting. Because, uh, because I look, I, my brother's like, i sorry, my cousin's gonna, um, get me out and, mm. uh, stuff. But I, I felt like I needed to warn you guys. Because uh, you you fucking saved my life. Okay, I'm gonna tell him, like, okay, 
I say, this is good. I really appreciate you reaching out and everything like that. These are the mistakes you've made during this conversation. You need to be aware of this because these people are very dangerous. And I will tell him, and I'll give him some advice, basically, because this is how you need to deal with it. You know, cousin, don't say cousin. You know, okay. That's a tracking point I can find you on. You okay. Know, it's a guy you know. Okay. okay. I, I'm getting out with a thing. It says, you did a really good job here, and I'm going to look into it, but it's... So I just give him some advice to help him. Out. Okay, yeah, and you do, and he does. He does seem both scared and grateful, um, you know, before he he ends the the convo. Um, and he ends it with, out. "Oh, hang on, there's someone at the door." No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. What's that sound? <laughs> poop, poop. Hey, Lowell, just a quick thing. Um, sure. I was looking through the driver playbook. Uh-huh. <clears throat> uh huh. Uh. And can I take any of those things that are listed in the in the things of the playbook, or how, how does that exactly work? So there, there are there, are, so there are, are moves, and so if you want to take a move from another playbook, you can choose a move. So you could choose wheels, or second skin, Jeez. or oh. chrome, daredevil, drone jockey, eye in the sky, Iceman, right tool, or sweet ride. So any of those moves, inc- uh, so the it starts off, yeah, so I could take wheels, second skin, chrome, daredevil, drone jockey, okay. So if I took wheels, that looks pretty cool. I could get basically a different, like, car, I guess, yeah, right? Yeah, get, get rid of your shitty van and uh, get yourself something really sweet. That's cool. I'm going to do that. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good. There you go. I love it. Yeah. Take a look at and figure out what you want to do for frame and design and all that jazz. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That and you know, cool. you can always, if you need spare parts, you can always get it off the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I need- nice. <clears throat> you know, if you need like another headlight, you can take that out of uh, Matt's eye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Scott, I'm going to cut yes. from, from Carl's conversation to you um, to. Uh, the guy that you went through, um, yes. the the hacker who assisted you before, um, and uh, he calls you up. Who assisted me with what was? When you dropped the dime on Carl. Oh, yeah. He says, "Hey, hey, brother Trace, man." Yes. Uh. So, uh, I just want to let you know uh, that uh, whatever you sent down the pipe to me, that you had me pass on to, uh, to I.I., um, you kicked a, kick a hornet's nest. And uh, there, there's some people uh, real stirred up about that. Um, uh, like uh, like Mobile R is all, 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 you know, up in the biz kind of thing. So, I might be... Might be real careful. I don't know. Uh, the guy you dropped a dime on might be getting some real heat, and he might come and uh, put it back on you. Well, that is good to know. Thank you for. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah not a little... problem. Did you get those creds I I, I sent you for uh, the the pay data? Yes. Yes, I. I... I hope that uh, uh, they will find it uh, uh, useful. I know I will f- find the credits useful. Yeah, yeah. Well, the the whole thing with the pit, people are a little, uh, you know, everyone wants to know exactly what's going on there. So any of the data around that place is uh, going for high dollar. You go down there and get me some more like that, and I can certainly pay you well for that. Excellent. I might just uh, 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 do that there. uh uh, there's a there's a gold mine of uh, of data there. Ooh, excellent. Well, you keep me in mind if you get some shit. Certainly, I shall keep that in mind. I think to myself, loose end. <laughs> <laughs> um. So Ben, how um, is it that you come into possession of this new sweet vehicle? Um, so I'm going to create a contact because that's just such a cool thing that, um, and basically, um, 
come back to me. Let me give us a little sure, bit more absolutely. thought here because I'm I'm uh, I want to spend a little bit of mental thought on this. That seems seems cool, <clears throat> Matt. Yes, you've got an eye. I do. It's nice to have two of them. Yeah, pretty sweet now. Um, so uh, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so uh, you have some of those guys um, that, that, of course, got, got help get you out, and you got that nice stuff, things like that. Um, and uh, uh, who's your contract with? Your uh, uh, the 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 SimSense. What's the channel you're on? Um, that's the Shout Network. Yeah. So uh, you get a call from one of the execs. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Hey, not much. Chip Chipster, how you doing? Doing great. Living the dream. Yeah, yeah. You know how that is. Now that it is, you know. Uh, anyway, so uh, we're canceling our contract with you, and uh, we're pulling you off the network. Um, Wait, what? I passed, I passed all the notes over to uh, legal, uh, so when you uh, uh, try to sue us, keep in mind it's already there, okay? Oh, I'm not going to sue. I might murder. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't catch that last part there, Chip. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. There was no last part. Don't worry about the last part. Yeah, yeah, so we, we had some people lean on us. Um, and, uh, sh shit came down from a uh, corporate high and, uh, some people, some people grabbed, uh, some of the source data on your last, last thing, that water ride you did. Yeah, well, it, it wasn't sick enough, was it? I, I don't know what the deal is, but, uh, yeah, somebody, somebody wanted that for sure. So anyway, yeah. Um, wait, wait, wait. Why, why are you taking it out on me? Uh, well, I'm not. It's just, uh, just word from on high. Hey, oh. corporation knows best, right? Yeah. Better watch out. You might get dropped from on high from a helicopter. Now that I heard this time. Well. Chip, Chip, Chip Storino. You'll, you know, here's the thing is, you'll do something hot, you'll get your Q ratings back up, and then we'll be on you, okay? And you'll be able to ask for premium, primo, dinero when you, well, that's Mexican, so not that. So anyway, uh, yeah, like some hot dollars from us when, when you get that going, and, and uh, we'll have to pay through the nose, won't we? Yeah, you, you might. Yeah. Or, or it's all about capitalism. Chip. Q rating stands for quad defenestration, right? <laughs> oh, man, you are a laugh riot. Anyway, so uh, thanks. I got to go, Chip. You take it easy, okay? Bye. Later days. <sighs> Ringo. One, one thing there, uh, because okay. I wasn't there for the very start of the sure. session, um, because basically I think the name is funny. I'm taking Aura of Professionalism for my advance. Okay. And what does Aura of Professionalism do? When you get the job or try to get paid, choose one extra option, even on a mix. Ooh, that's nice. Thanks. Uh, Ringo. Yep. You get some money finally together. Some. Some. Not as much as I would have had if not for that chip fella. That chip fella, yeah. He's quite, quite a character, isn't he? Mm hmm So what are you going to do with your money? I'm thinking I need a horse. One of those metal horses that run around real quick. So a motorcycle? Yep. Let's see. I wonder how much a motorcycle costs. Let's take a look. Oh, he said horse. I got to guess it. <laughs> got to play to my own narrative. Uh, so let's see. Uh, you want a real basic one, or you want a no like a like a like a serious uh, serious bike? Um, I probably would want a, a really serious bike uh, with a nice like Mustang kind of horse. You know, like this. You see these '70s vans with these paint jobs on the side. You know. Something like that, spirit horse kind of animal thing on it. Okay, yeah. Uh, so that would be about four creds for something like that. Okay. Um, be a so with, ride. with that, the tag would be 
what tags would be on that then? Would that be luxurious or with, or luxury or aggressive or what tags get associated with a four credit bike? Let's see here. Weapon tag. Let's see. Equipment. Not drones. Vehicle tags. Okay. Well, uh, it's a motorcycle. Da, da, da. So, uh, it essentially, unlike uh, 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 Ben's thing, Ben gets a real, a real, uh, you know, fancy ride with the yeah. power to and all that stuff and things. Um, mm. And uh, uh, da, da, da. Uh, so basically, what we do is we just do a. It's a, a vehicle with a, with a essentially a zero across the board profile. Okay. Um, uh, but uh, you could do it uh, flashy. Okay. Um, yeah, he's not really a flashy kind of guy. Uh, okay, well, what do you want to call it then? Muscular? Flashy, flashy could be uh, um, that it stands out and having Ooh. a... Yeah, okay, that would make sense. It stands out. Or... Okay. Or vintage. Okay, there you go. Okay. Vintage. Like, like a real old school... Like a like a, a two a two two thousand uh, sorry uh, like a a twenty forty five motorcycle mm -hmm. so real retro. <laughs> Do I have to scrounge for petrol to run it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, everything would have been on uh, 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 saltwater batteries by that point, so it's all, all good. Right. Um, all right, as part of this deal, uh huh. Uh, as I'm meeting with the guy, I guess go to the narrative. Um, I also need myself a, like a shotgun. You know what? What's it going to cost to get one of those? As well as this uh, nice horse here. Shotgun, uh, standard shotgun. Uh, let's see here. Shotgun is three harm, close, loud, messy, reload. Um, uh, so, do, 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 do. so that's assault weapons. So that's a, a standard two cred on that. All right. So. I'll take one of those with the uh, the link thing, and then the if I can, and uh, you and do then the, the link thing. The I'll have you roll for that one. Uh, all right, let's okay. do that. All right, so let's look at the uh, the that uh, hit the street move. Okay, rolling. Okay. Submit. Okay, eight. Eight. Uh, so. He'll say it's gonna with the you want the if you want that link, um, it's gonna take me a little bit longer to get that way. I've got I mean, I've got shotguns in stock, but I I, I can't get that uh, to you right away. Uh, 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 uh. Um. All right, I think I'll just pass on the old shotgun there for for whatever reason. If it don't have a link, it just doesn't feel right in my hands, you no, know? No, 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 you, you, you certainly do not want a weapon which is not to your capabilities. Mm-hmm. I'll just take the horse then and go. Okay. And uh, I, I don't think we'll need to roll for that. You can just pay the four and you get a sweet ride. Okay. Ben, do you want me to check back in with you, or, or should I... Uh, so I have a question, actually. Yeah. Um, one of the weaknesses is... Picky. What does that mean? <clears throat> uh, so imagine that. Uh, uh, let me take a look at this just to make sure I'm I'm not doing it wrong here. Um, so the weakness is uh, picky. What uh, you know how uh, some vehicles can be finicky. Like you got to drive them just right, or you got to have just the right stuff set on them. You got to have everything good. That's what that is. Essentially, that the uh, the, the hmm. if something goes wrong, it's about the fact that that something has gotten slightly out of alignment, and then you've got to got to get it uh, uh, you know uh, back in gear before it'll run right. Or it could just you need like specialized knowledge to use it, sort of like a kit. Knight Rider sort of thing. Is that also a uh, yeah? Like picky? like it takes special stuff to repair it, and be right uh, back. You know, if something goes wrong, you may have to go get special parts for it. Okay. All right. So I'm thinking a um, uh, armored personnel carrier that could carry a kind of like our team 
um, the design military <clears throat> with uh, um, the parameters of plus two power, plus two looks, plus one plus one weakness and one armor. <clears throat> okay. Um, and um, back. So you said, uh, you said plus one power. Plus, sorry, plus two power. <clears throat> plus two. Yeah, and right. And then uh, what? Plus, the, it's the first row where he, plus two power. Um, looks plus one, weakness plus one, one armor. Right. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Um, and um, let's see. Uh, and with you, so. Strength, choose a power. For each point of power, choose a strength. So the strengths, um, um, I think rugged. <clears throat> okay. What's workhorse? So I guess able to carry a lot of stuff or able to pull a lot of stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I'll pull, I think I'll pick workhorse. Um, looks. <clears throat> Armored, um, looks. So looks. I guess so looks powerful. Is armored. No, you just yeah. need one for looks, right? Oh, one. You're right. Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, and weakness is uh, picky, and I get two weapons. Uh, a an auto cannon. One weapon. That's uh, military, so it is two. <clears throat> oh, is that what that does? Yeah, and then Amen. I guess um okay. Hmm, I guess a machine gun. <clears throat> Keep in mind that a military vehicle isn't going to be street legal. Oh. Like like that's going to be a, like a a big, you know, military vehicle that that a private person shouldn't have kind of thing. Mm. Well, you can that's not you could still do, you know, and and have one weapon. Um, and, you know, keep it so it isn't quite so, you know, uh, people don't go, we are, they, that, that looks like a tank. Yeah. All right. Um, let me think about it some more. Come back to me. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Carl, you back? Yes. Okay. Uh, so let's swing back to you, sir. What's your next step? Um, next step is to contact everybody and, um. That will include uh, Daddy Bye Bye. Okay. And I'll get together and say. So when uh, you say get together, what are we talking? You guys well, doing we'll, like we'll a, like a, a like a cyberspace, like a net space, uh, yeah. uh, thing, with a little video panel for. We'll, uh, we'll Skype in. We'll Skype in. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, um, uh, well, Trace is not meeting with us. Period. Right. Right. And so, no, I'm sure it would be that way and stuff. And okay. so. I just wanted to establish where everybody was when they get. I mean, sorry, when when things go down. I mean, when when this happens. When when we get fried for jacking in. Now, well, okay, that's true. I guess I guess it's as safe as it is. Um, yeah. So um, once I believe it's secure enough, I'll say, guys, we're uh, for the uh, waterfront thing. We're going to be we're being haunted. Uh, they're killing everybody who was was associated with this thing, um, even complete innocent people that. Have nothing to do with it really whatsoever. So, you know, we're targeted for elimination, and so we should be aware of that. And probably either skid out or, or fight or flight or something. Yeah, let's, let's just let him do it. I'm, I'm too depressed to, to put up much of a fight. Good. <laughs> you would, would you like killer? Would you like Ringo to do it right now? Uh, I can't shoot you people can, over you, the internet. Yeah, you can you can you can sell his cyberware for other stuff, you know. I'm, t- I'm thinking. How, how, how secure is this, lol? This, this is secure. I'm not making you make rolls, so I'm assuming you're skilled enough to make this a secure line. Unless you okay. want to make it insecure. Do you want to reveal anybody's location? It's fine. <laughs> no, no, I would not want to. Uh, if you want to do uh, that, send that to me in chat. <laughs> It's slash GM <laughs> hell. Let's <laughs> chat. Where's okay? Oh, hold up. <laughs> <I> mean... <laughs> oh really? Um, oh okay. Okay, Scott. I will say. Uh, um, I probably know who is t- 
who is targeting the people? Who? Uh, that is, uh, as as secure uh, as secure as, it, as this is, that would be something I would prefer to actually yeah. meet face to face with. So that you could kill us and get paid for it. He doesn't have the crotch marbles. Hey, um, yeah, that's fine. I mean, um, uh, you did you've, we ever? You've, was... you've you've seen me face to face. I have I have a uh, uh, little chance to to actually kill any of you. Excellent. Um, um, as opposed so, to now, where I could fry your brains. Yeah, there we go. Um, now, go the, ahead. Do this it. This thing was against um, Wayland Utani. Who, but who? No, we never no, figured out against, who this was. It was against Savage Pharma. Oh, that's right. It was okay. Okay, I was looking at where, I was looking at the last one. Okay, not the. Yeah, you're right. Okay. And we did this. Can we find out? Did um Genghis, Did any of Genghis Klang get out? I mean, can we find that out? Um, that, that that's something that you could certainly go in and investigate. That sounds like a good idea to investigate. I mean, because you don't know who hired you or anything. I mean, you don't know right. who was behind it all. Mm-hmm. And, well, I can uh, shed quite a bit of light, light, light on it, so let's arrange uh-huh. to meet up someplace. Okay. So you want to Xavier. check stuff out and, and look around first before we do this, or come back? Hold on, Xavier. Let's hold up a minute. Now, you're telling me that someone's hunting us based on what? Is my mic on? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Carl's thinking. Oh, um, you're, oh well, sorry. He said, okay, I'm sorry. When he says Xavier, I'm thinking of somebody else. Because based on, I I had an informant talk to me and tell me some news and the people were, were getting killed. Um, and I I checked him over, tried to make sure he was telling me the truth, and I believe it. So these are people connected to the project, right? Um. No, there so, was people. There was per- people like at where we got hit by the YT, why the why the Wyland Utani team. People in that area were targeted because they saw they had something to do with us. That uh, they saw something to do with us, and so they just got rid of potential potential witnesses. I mean, you know, it, it was you know the, you wouldn't see anything. You see a gang fight, and they killed some people off. And they killed off all the people we rescued, except um, they killed off all the people we rescued. So. What you're saying is they found the people, they had like employee records or something, and they tracked well, them down? Is that those what you're people, meaning? yes. Those people, the people we rescued, they're dead. The people mm. who happened to be in the area, maybe lived or worked or whatever in the area, when we got hit by the Wailing Utani team, you know, 30 miles away, they went out and they killed some of those people. It's a couple dozen people right now. Not well, everyone right. that we rescued is dead. I'd rather what? Fight. So who survived there, Trace? I'm not. I, I'm, I'm. Whoever survived is not important. It's not. I'm no, not I'm. Spread out I'm, information. I'm looking at Chip. Oh. <laughs> yeah. If only I had died. Oh, it's not even worth it going on. Oh, by the way, like it, nothing matters anymore. But um, yeah, my uh, my SimSense recordings of that were uh, also stolen from the Shout Network. Ah, uh, well, first of all, Chip, you're just giving me another reason to shoot you. Please stop the whining. Now, <laughs> it's got... not whining when you've been cast down from the Valhalla of a I major agree. network. Uh, I agree. I really think that you need to go over there and convince Ringo in person that, you know, it's not whining. That, that, I'm thinking that that's the best way. Uh, let's move on here. I'm getting kind of itchy. So, right now let's we got all up. these people dying, and it sounds back. like, it sounds like, yeah, <laughs> thank you. For, mm-hmm. All right. So, all these people are dying, and it's sounds like someone has is trying to cover up the project that died yes. right so probably it's savage pharma that's doing the hidden right oh that's right they did the they did the they had the kill team go in yeah you're right i guess that's right 
Um, that's what I was, you, yeah, I that's what I was right. trying to point out. I don't believe yeah, right. so. Why? Because I believe I know who's responsible, as I, as I said, not but okay. two minutes ago. <laughs> okay, so, in other words... Um, no, no, Trace, no, Trace. He doesn't want to say it on he, in this format, okay? He wants to say it face-to-face. Um, so, uh, you're going to do some research, and we're going to meet together later? Is that what you're saying? Uh, we can meet together right now. Uh, now, I don't need to do any research. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, all right. I've got a good feeling about Trace. I've worked with him a lot, so I'm going to take them at his word and okay. say, well, where do we meet? Well, you you could pick a spot. No, I trust you, man. Tell me where we're going. I'll pick a spot. Uh, it'll be a more public place. Um, uh, How about the Shout Network campers. corporate headquarters? <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll meet there. We'll We'll, we'll see you there. You know, what All we're right. going to do is we're going to storm them and make them get back, have your channel back on. Oh, no, I don't care about that. <laughs> I just want them all to die. Uh, okay. okay. What? You don't know my pain. I'm about to. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Um, so should I cut to that meeting? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, then uh, let's let's do that. Um, so we will cut to uh, you guys meeting up. And Carl, you said you were determined the place. So tell me what this place is like. Now, I, I, God, now that I think about it, I don't know. If public place is a good place. Um, no, it's a terrible idea. But okay. okay. No, that's fine. We can go to a different place. We'll go. No, to... no. You, you okay, Carl? You tell you me where, where you guys are going. We've got. Um, this will be uh this will be more of like on the uh outskirts of town where there is um it's like right before some kind of the some crazy zones and stuff like that. All right, so you'll go to the edge of the metroplex where it starts to go into some of the uh like uh, restricted block zones a yeah, little bit yeah. like Jersey um but but better of course cuz that Jersey is terrible. Um, and uh, um, and so you can get to those those sort of uh, dangerous DMZ places. Right, 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 right. We'll go there, and uh, and it's various places that uh, you you can meet there and stuff. And it's violent enough that um, that only you know it's violent enough that enough that. It's unlikely to be uh, observed by people who are not really able to survive in that area. At um, least I'm respected here. Ben, are you driving your sweet new ride over there? You might be muted. Sorry, I was muted. <clears throat> um, so I'm actually looking at pictures of... Uh, um, if this is okay, I'm looking at a police command uh uh, van. Sure, can you drop a link? Man, uh, man in the van. chat. Do we have a sure, picture? Let me, see. let me see if I can do that. Yeah. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, Copy the link, just drop it in the chat. chat. Okay. Duke. Okay, let's take a look at that. I like it. Yeah. That looks good. What kind of, what kind of weapon do you want to mount on that? Um, so I was thinking I was still going to go with the, um, auto cannon. <clears throat> yeah, auto cannon's good. Uh, and I figure, you know, it have, it'll have a mobile, um, communications and computer center for Scott, uh, for, uh, Trace. And, uh, I, I was looking at other, you know, various, uh, sort of, a lot of the police command centers look sort of like, a modified RV, essentially, which is kind yep. of what I'm. I'm just looking at yeah. various ones, but that one looks pretty cool. <clears throat> How is yours painted? Um, what does it look like? So it's. I think it's going to be black. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Um, <clears throat> Can I ask a question about it. Yeah. Does the auto cannon? Does it like recess into the top and like come out? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, raises up from so the roof. Yeah, so it's not awesome. military, but I think it'll be. 
uh, I guess, what would the design? I mean, the design is the design is police command van. Is that a leak? Is that a is that a sort of? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. It says hover. Uh, you know, it can have a hovergraph. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, as soon as so he the, drives up, and I'm like, I guess we are changing the meeting place. This is a <laughs> nice vehicle. Yeah. Um, it looks dangerous. I mean, he's he's definitely he's described it as armored, so people people know not to kind of fuck with it. Uh, is is how big is it? It is a it's rugged like workhouse. It's got thing, it's yeah. decent size. <clears throat> it's not uh, capacious. Not not luxury spacious. He didn't choose that, but it's got some workroom in the back. It's got room for his drone, and it's got room for you guys to to work back there. All right, so we can actually pile in his vehicle and yeah, a mobile a mobile base is what I kind of want uh, our, for our team. <clears throat> it's what I'm uh, going. After, so can I put my horse in there? Like a huh? You mean like my, a motorcycle? My horse. Yeah. My horse. On an iron horse, he rides. Oh, yeah. um, can I put my? Will my motorcycle fit in? I there? I think so. I mean, it's a pretty big thing. Sure, it'll but, be a little okay. tight, but that's fine. Yeah, you got to take well, care of it. You can put it on now. the back, maybe on a rack. Yeah. yeah, you can put it on a rack. I think that'd be the best. Uh, All right, don't want to get lonely. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Well. <laughs> oh my god. Moving on. All right. So, where where exactly are we, Xavier? He's uh, in a, a D, D, you're in a DMZ zone. Yes. That's... So now we're in the uh, in the now we're in this command vehicle in the DMZ. And we're kind of kicking back and everything like that in luxury. Awesome. Very good. All right. I by the way. I'm sitting obnoxiously close to Chip. Like my my definition of personal space is less than like a normal person's. So, Chip, what's your take on that? What's your reaction when somebody gets that close to you? I don't Go. have the heart to tell him that I ain't even famous no more, and his advances will get him nowhere. Oh wait, sorry. I have one more question. Yep. Um, what does sloppy mean? For, well, a, for what? It depends if it's second for a vehicle. Moving on. <laughs> yes, it's unresponsive when you're driving it. Yep. Oh. Huh. You won't okay. be taking the fast corners. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to step it's on. It's not a racetrack okay. type of vehicle. Sorry, what? It's, it's not a racetrack type of vehicle, or oh, yeah. or going down alleys and making fast turns. Yeah. Handles like a dog. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, Trace, I think this is your show here. Oh, okay, and before that I've gone, um, I'll, you know, set up a, uh, a program, uh, you know, to, ru to, to run some place that, that makes it look like I'm active, uh, basically on the net somewhere. Um... And uh, once we're in the vehicle and we're going, I'll 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 basically say that um, there's an uh, oops there there's an organization um, that uh, sometimes works with uh, Savage Pharmaceuticals. Um, they are known as the League of Assassins. Mm. They have, they have uh, 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 existed uh, since even be before the Crusades. I mean, of twenty ten? No, <laughs> I was just going to say twenty ten. Yeah. No. The Middle Ages. Forty. Uh, yeah, twenty forty. <laughs> Anyway, go ahead. For I'm hundreds saying. of years. How about that? Sure. Okay. Is that Ringo expressing skepticism? <laughs> Just check yeah. it. Just check it. <laughs> go on, Scott. 
Uh, they are very, very good at what they do. Mm-hmm. Are they be the best at what they do? They are the best at what they do. Okay. It isn't pretty. Uh, it doesn't smell good either. <laughs> uh, they um, had a uh, representative on the station uh, who was likely killed with with the events that went on. Uh, and they don't want anyone to know that they were working on uh, uh, cloning or reproducing super-powered individuals. Okay, so you're saying the League of Assassins is was cloning these people. Not, mm. not Savage Farmer, so to speak. I Savage Farmer probably uh, 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 was the one actually... Uh, 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 doing it, the League of Assassins was probably uh, behind them. Okay. So, net net, um, Savage Farm wants us dead. No, no, the League of Assassins wanted us dead. I thought the League of Assassins, they just get paid. They, uh, um, Uh, are probably more involved with this partic- uh, particular endeavor. That would be my uh, guess from the uh, the fact that I was contacted by a member of the League of Assassins to find out what happened on this, the station. So you have contact with these people regularly or... or- they, you work for them, or they work for you? Uh, I, mean, I work yeah. for them. Mm. Okay, so... so are you going to kill us? For them. So are you going Is to that, kill us now? Because Scott, could you please mark experience? Oh, thank you. So, so you're going to kill us now is what you're saying? Uh, no. If I would have wanted to do that, I would have done it when you're in the... Nin- uh, net, not face to face. Mm hmm. That makes sense. All right. So, what's next? Let's give then? you a chance to shoot, uh, uh, shoot me. I have attempted to stall, uh, uh, giving any, any information. I'm pretty sure, despite my, uh, uh, loyalty to the organization, if since since you have told me that they've been killing anyone remotely involved, I have a feeling uh, my head is on the chopping block as well. Of course it is. No one has any loyalty these days. Not even TV executives. Uh, when he starts, I hit him. <laughs> Ow! Now I had you thought, got a reason to watch. I had thought to doctor some information to to uh, uh, implicate the the mercenary team that we fought. Um, as it's still a possibility, but I'm still, after hearing what Xavier had to say, pretty sure that even if I gave them imp- information implicating someone else, uh, they would uh, tie up me as a loose end as well. No one wants... They don't want the secret uh, uh, of what they were doing with... with uh, superhumans in that facility out. That's the secret that they will they will kill whoever they need to kill to okay. silence. So is our mission right now to kind of scrub um, anything we can from all the places that we can that, that has us in it? I mean, you know, the facility's gone, all the cameras are gone. Um, you know, uh, if they had video on the beach... Then they would have video of the uh, of the helicopter, so that could be that could be Since a problem. You went back and forth several times. Yeah. All right. We are not stealthy. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what they know. The agent that approached me, unless he was testing my loyalty, didn't didn't know that I had been there. 
At least not at that point. So what are you suggesting? Is there some place we can go and remove that our names from some kind of list or something? Yeah, I mean... Uh... I, I, honestly, uh, Trace would probably say uh, I would get your affairs in order. <laughs> All right. But, uh, no one's going to uh, want to have an affair with me anymore now that I'm not a celebrity. Uh, how about we do this? We solve a couple problems at once. Chip wants to die, and so we get him on his helicopter. We hit it with a, um, with a missile, and then um, we basically get some wait, other wait, bodies. Wait, wait, you repeat that? You, you just referred to that as my helicopter? <laughs> yeah, you can be, you can, it can be yours and for as long as it takes you to fly it out. The missile hits, and then uh, we can put some bodies in there, and then we can say they're all dead. Fake our deaths and, and go with that. Something like that. Hmm. That sounds like running. It's uh, the better part of valor. No, I disagree. Good. Okay. Well, you can go into the helicopter with him, and you can keep an eye and make sure he flies the helicopter, and then we'll hit it with a missile. And we don't have to fake your body. Why don't you just tell me who to shoot instead? Um, His name's Matthew Tompkins. He works at the Shout Network. Mm, I don't think you're telling me the truth. Um, so you're all set for this whole faking thing, then? Is that what you're telling me? Is well, I'm thinking I'm I'm trying to to brainstorm some solutions and stuff like that. I mean, you know, uh, Trace, you're just you're just giving up. You're just run just going to give up and. Oh, I'm not giving up uh, yet. I'm just saying that's the most likely. Uh, 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 outcome. All right. How do we prevent that then? Assuming this whole helicopter thing debacle doesn't work, which I'm highly doubtful of. Well, well I, mean, I mean, that's just one way. Um, mm -hmm. One, have we checked on to see if Clang got out? So let's let's pause here. Let me take a quick break. And when we come back, it seems to me like you guys would want to do some some legwork to kind of get a feel for the, what the situation looks like. How does that sound? That sounds good. Sure. Oh, one, one more uh, important bit of uh, 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 detail uh, uh, here. As we were flying away uh, from the uh, 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 from the base, I, I saw a figure fly up out of the water and fly away. Oh, he was the only one who saw that? Yes. Okay. Wait. Really? You've been getting into my Krell and Chiba, haven't you? Well, was it a drone? No, it was a person. From historical records, it looked very similar to... I, I don't rem know if he was classified as a villain or hero, but uh, Namor. Hmm. All right, let's take five, and I will come okay. back. All right. Okay. So, okay, so uh, Carl is prep uh, has come up with the idea of faking our deaths, getting out of it, right? Um, I don't think my death was meant to be fake in his plan. <laughs> <laughs> you still have one question for you guys, real quick. Uh, sorry. Um, do you know what? Um, do you know what? For a weakness for a car, for a vehicle, what does lazy mean? <clears throat> uh, it doesn't accelerate well. I see. Okay. As opposed to being sloppy, it can accelerate well. fine. Well, it just no. doesn't turn well. <clears throat> no, instead of going 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, it's 0 to 60 in 30 seconds. Gotcha. It doesn't accelerate well. It doesn't right. necessarily speak to how well it turns. Or, sloppy, or any of is, other. sloppy as it accelerates well, just doesn't turn well. <clears throat> well, I don't know if it accelerates well or not, but it, it doesn't turn well or handle well. So if you're having to dodge, perform evasive maneuvers, that kind of thing, you would be less able to accomplish that. Gotcha. Would be my take on it. And ultimately, one, that's one thing I found like challenging about this game at first, they don't define anything, so it's really just up to lull. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of like that. Like, I feel like these Powered by the Apocalypse games are almost like one pole of gaming 
where it's like super rules light and everything. It's just kind of in service of the story. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. And I think like like Pathfinder, like I've gone down the rabbit hole over this last week. Fabian, you're gonna love it. Yeah. Because it's just goob central. Like, <laughs> what are you what are you goobing on, first of all? No, it's like the game is meant to be goobed. Like, oh, it uh, is. Oh, definitely, the, yeah. The, the combat is so crunchy, and Scott doesn't think so, because Scott likes rules-heavy games, I think. But, um, like, there's just, like, so many modifiers you can stack, and, like, lots of, like, discrete actions, like, almost like moves in a video game, right? Like, you can attack... Or you can do combat maneuvers, so you can trip, or bull rush, or charge, or sunder, or disarm, or cleave, you know, like, and there's various modifiers you can apply to each of these abilities, and, um, you know, so for instance, I was thinking about taking a polearm master, right? Right, you were talking about that. So Tripping. what this guy would be is, like, I trip people, and I have extended range, right? So, like, most people, like, a square is five feet. Most people have like a five foot reach, so like one square in front of you. So basically melee. Right. I have ten feet. But it's only that outer ten foot ring. If you get within five feet of me, I can't use my pole arm against you. Right? So okay. I would do things like trip you when you fall down. If you want to get up, I get an attack of opportunity. And any, any of my teammates adjacent also get an attack of opportunity. And then if you want to move into my five-foot range so you can get me and I can't get you, I get another attack of opportunity as you try to move in. And so this guy is moved to be, like, very reactive. Right. Where I stake well, I get, out... I mean, I guess a lot of the control. vehicle things... <clears throat> I mean, I've heard of... We all kind of know what a gas guzzler is. Uh, yeah. Unreliable, loud, slow, fragile. Just I've never heard a car... car or car, you know, car called like sloppy oh. or lazy, you know. That's <clears throat> just kind of not intuitive. I, I, I missed it's... something there, Matt. Were you goobing about something? I was talking about pole Pathfinder goob and how Pathfinder is so amenable to goobing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, and well, I what think was your example of uh, how the yeah, trip works with uh, attacks of opportunity. Oh, yes. So gotta, <laughs> and let me maybe confirm with you that I got this right. That I can trip someone that's 10 feet out from me. When uh, they stand up, that's an attack of opportunity. And then when they try to move out with, of... With a pole. You yeah. Clarify that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about polearm master. And then if they try to move in, that's another attack of opportunity because they're trying to leave a uh, threatened square, right? Uh... Only if they... Unless they use a five-foot move. Right. Which most sane individuals would, would do. But doesn't standing up use the same action as the five-foot move? Yes, yes. The, uh, basically, you, you could trip them, and then when they stand up... Uh, you get an attack. You can, uh, get, you can get an attack on them. However, you cannot trip them again. Uh, yeah. But you can get an attack on them. Well, it'll be fun, Goob, but I, I think Lowell's back, so let's go yeah. ahead and... Um, so, yeah, Ben, one of the things to keep in mind is that all of those things, all the handling is to describe all kinds of vehicles, not just cars and things like that. And I have heard people des describe handling as uh, handling being sloppy. Hmm. Loose, okay. sloppy. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. I just I just haven't really heard that before. Yeah. I've heard, um, so actually, common, but... actually, I'm going to take two weaknesses and get two armor on the command... Okay. Uh, vehicle, just um, just so you know. Okay, so picky and uh, picky and um, I'm thinking between sloppy and lazy. What do you guys think is uh, appropriate for a command van? Like lazy means um, it doesn't get up to speed very fast. Right, and I... sloppy means it doesn't it doesn't sort of corner very well. Right? Well, both. <laughs> I mean, from what looking at your thing, both of them are are accurate. So I mean, it's you a big it's armored cool. thing. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be lazy or. So, yeah. I would say lazy makes sense because it's got all that weight from the armor. But that's that's just my thought. I guess you could. I mean, do you want to get away at a straight line, or you? I mean, because if you're, um, hmm. 
Uh, well, I'm, so we'll just keep moving. I'm going to take either sloppy or lazy. Okay, yeah. Some, and other stuff. thing to keep in mind with the terminology, by the way, if you <laughs> see stuff that's odd, is this guy who wrote it is in New Zealand. Ah. So his ter- his terminology is a little bit off. Yeah, so your van might have to flip a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that means like make a U-turn on, on that bitch. side of the like world. The, the <laughs> voice automation, like, good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, move it. Let's go ahead and move along. We need to progress. Yes. All right, so let, let's let's walk through some of the threads that you guys have, and I, let me do a little bit of this, and then if I'm missing some things, you can add on to this list. So let me go, and when I'm done, I'll say I'm done, and you guys can can uh, click in. Does that sound good? Can I interrupt you right now? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Go ahead, sir. I'm not gonna miss that. Anyway, uh, so uh, <laughs> I do like listening to the threads. This is actually one of my favorite parts of Lowell's uh, GME. <laughs> uh, so one of the things, of course, is who hired you. That's an unresolved thread. Mm-hmm. That's a question. Uh, survivors. No, who didn't hire me? Survivors from the other team. Is another question that uh, Carl has stated. Um, uh, more details on what they were working on. Um, you. What was it? What was that, Lowell? What Wait, you? No. What they were working on? Oh, oh, oh the, name. the project. Okay, the general. It. I'm just giving kind of general yeah. uh, stuff there. Um, uh, how they're killing people. Essentially, what's their procedure? Are they have teams of people? Are they, you know, what are they doing? How are they following up on that? Um, you know, where, where would your intelligence be stored if they're doing something actionable against you? Is there a place you can hit to change the the data? Where would that be? Um, uh, and let's see. Um, oh, uh, background. On the extract E, remember you had to ex- you wanted to extract somebody. You don't know mm-hmm. anything yeah. about them. Um, there are a few things. There's I, I put those in the chat of roll twenty. Um, a- anything else that I I didn't hit, Scott? Um. So who would I hire us? Survivors for the other team. What were they working on? How are they killing people? Um, I guess my thing would be what uh, what would pl- what would uh, placate the League of Assassins or or uh, oh, so you know would, why? Would, would, would would faking our deaths you know even work? Yeah, because you kind of don't know what the the, the background is, because it does seem a little bit like overkill. Is there mm-hmm. any open thread with Gordon Shio himself, or is that Gordon Shio? That's the guy from last time, isn't it, Ben? Yeah, I was just curious if there's anything that we have unresolved there, or is that completely done? <clears throat> I think you did that job. I mean, you you did it and got yeah, yeah. paid. Right. So okay, it's done and over with. Yeah. Right. Cool. Anything else? Anybody else wants to add to that list? I uh, can't think of anything. It seems okay. Things seems like the, those are our good options. Sure. Well, let's let's kind of do a round of of investigation. Okay. Uh, you I know, think... looking into things. Does that seem reasonable? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. sir. I've got an idea. Okay. Let's start with you or then. Somebody else. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look about up about. Um, uh, there's a reporter uh, I know, and he likes to cover some of these hidden stories of uh, of uh, you know corporate malfeasance and stuff like. I'm gonna hit him up, and I'm gonna try and find out if he knows anything about uh, a bunch of people getting killed, and um, you know if he's if he's uh, 
if he's following that up and if he has any information, if he can, one, if he can confirm it, and two, if he gets got any more details about it. What's your reporter's name? His name is. Oh, I can always let's see. You can always say you figure it out, Lil. <laughs> oh, I could do it. Sure, sure um, you can. Yeah, sure. I, I'm not turning up word for you, Carl. Tom Davis. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow, that, that would be the most awesome cyberpunk name. name I'd ever heard, girl. Yes, that's exactly. See, you know. <laughs> Tom Davis, Bleeding Edge. Cyber it's a suit, man. Cyber reporter. Oh, hey, wait. This will work. This is Lexington. There we go. That's that his full name? It's just Lexington? That's his uh, report. That's his byline. That's okay. his... Uh, Okay. Um, so you're going to hit up uh, Lexington to ask about this. Okay. Why don't you roll style? Okay. Okay. Now. Yeah. Let me see. What's all my shit I have? Um, uh, plus two. Uh, I think that's it. Hold on, I may have something else. Sure. Okay, so twelve. Yeah, look so, at that. I get intel. Um, so you hit the street. So yeah, you get intel, um, which you can spend during this sort of investigation thing if you need to. Um, uh, and so, what is it you want to know? What is it you you do? You want well, to to feed him something, or do you want to get a piece of info from him? Um, I want to get some information right now and see if he doesn't. And if he doesn't have them, I'll, I'll feed him the story. I mean, if, if he's heard about that. He will say, now I hadn't really heard. I knew that there was a Savage Pharma uh, lab that went down uh, that they're looking into, but I hadn't heard anything else, uh, you know, uh, much beyond that. Um, did you know that? Pardon? They may kill you. The fact that you know that, 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 that you know it was Savage Pharma and it was a lab. I can so barely far. hear you. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I thought you were being him. Yeah, you were um, cutting in and out. Sorry. Is that better? Yeah, sorry. We just uh, sounded a little farther away. Say, okay. So, um, yeah, so here's the thing is, is that's that's a standard report that's come through, but it's been really lowballed, and... A lot of attentions, you know, on other places right now. Well, you know, reclamation efforts for the pit and and other things. Um, okay. You know, uh, so that that seemed real small potatoes. Okay. But you think there's something more there? Okay. I'm not going to tell you any more until you tell me it's okay. If I tell you, people are getting killed for what I'm telling you. Just so they know. Just because they know it. You want to know? Okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's what I do. So, me telling him this, do I get a mark experience? Yeah. Okay. Um, there was a Savage Farm. Um, it was about 30 miles off, and I'll tell him where it was. Um, and uh, it was an oil rig, and uh, they were gonna they were gonna sending in this kill. I'll just tell him the whole. I'll I'll tell him the whole thing. Okay. Go, this is what's okay. going on. Uh-huh. And uh, now you know we. Uh, there was a bunch of survivors. These survivors are getting killed, and um, they're looking to. I mean, they're killing people who seen the survivors and the survivors of the survivors, and they're kind of really going out through pretty methodical. And one of the things they saw, mm-hmm. right, um, they were seen right before, was uh, something flew out of this underwater base, and. It was human. What are you saying? I'm saying what I'm saying. Okay? I don't... Look up Namer. That's what they said. And he'll do say... I have, do I have any video of, of that? Uh, did uh, Trace get any video? No. Okay. No. I don't and... have a cyber eye. And uh, he'll go, I don't know what you... He's 
dead? Mm-hmm. He's wait. Was I in person with him, or was I? No, you were in a uh, on a line, um, and uh, he will hear. Uh, this telecommunications has been restricted okay. by the Government Security Act. Okay. okay. Article thirteen. What, do I know what Article thirteen is? No, because they don't publish that. Oh, okay. I get out. I start uh, losing uh, traces and everything like that. See, you know. That's another of my contacts who's dead. Well, you got well, cut you off. The name. Certainly looks like like when when you said Namor, that clearly Oh, okay, that's what it was. triggered something in the the sort of the global monitoring stuff. So well, I didn't want to talk about it over the, over the net. Can I have you Carl um please roll um what is the this is the the act under pressure for me. Real oh. cool. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, you burn you burn out of there fast. Um, you, okay. you 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 you. The second you realize something is going on, uh, you've dropped the lines. You've moved. You've changed your gear. Um, you know, you've pulled off your your gloves so you don't leave any uh, you know fingerprints or anything like that. You switch over, and you know, in the the TV show, we see you, and then uh, you know, uh, a little bit later, we see you again. We can just barely tell it's you, and you're moving off from the area. My name is Arya Stark. <laughs> okay then. Um, I will get an. Inv- I'll try and text that guy. You know from anonymous account or whatever and say you know get out been cut off okay uh so you'll get that info out there who wants to go next uh i will if i may sure ringo what do you want to do um i uh trace has passed along some of these people that got hit in the more uh public kind of ways and i'm gonna go and assess those situations, see if I tr- can track down how this all happened. Are these teams going in, or is this like an individual doing it? That kind of thing. That seems like a, a great uh, way to do so. Let's have you roll assess for me. Okay. So, Edge, zero forward, rolled, and I've got a four or five. I got a five. Okay. I got a five. So... Um, we never saw Ringo again. Mar- uh, the good news is you get to mark experience. <laughs> That's my goal, yeah. So I drive up in my flashy motorcycle and... Yeah. And, and it, it explodes. <laughs> um, you will kind of hit that uh, uh, thing and you'll kind of start checking around the area. And what you will realize is that you kind of walked into something here like there's something still going ongoing because there are definitely teams of people here with what looks like air quality monitoring stuff and and those kinds of things um and do you want to stick around or do you want to do you want to buzz out does this look like it's uh, so? There's lots of what I would call like just normal folk milling about here, and something. And I just there's feel in the air that something's going to go down. Oh no, you don't see any normal folk. You just see these testing people around here, and you get the feeling like there's other shit around here. <sighs> um, I okay. You haven't asked me three times yet. So I will just take I will just take a quick look around, see if I can nail this down any further because we're I feel like we're desperate for leads. So I kind of stick around, get a lay of the land, kind of lie low when I'm doing it. Sure, absolutely. Um, so you get spotted, definitely. Mm. And here is what I will will tell you: is it looks like they are. Uh, they are definitely doing some kind of biohazard check around here. Mm. Not it's not just that they pick people up; it's that they are clearly, clearly doing some kind of biologicals. Um, and it's at that point that you're pretty sure you're about to get intercepted. 
Okay, I I attempt to bug out. Okay, why don't you roll? Act under pressure. Okay, uh, can I use my uh, neural? Uh, I'm sorry, the synthetic nerves to kind of help that along, make him move faster. Sure, that kind of thing. sure. I mean, hell, awesome. there's no way you could fail once you've got that in your your corner. Okay, um, just making sure what that all means. Got it. So we'll act under pressure. Yeah, add a one going forward and hitting submit. Hey, look 13. at that. You are, are the F out of there. Okay? And you are gone. In the wind, baby. In the wind. Okay. Uh, it's the stealth motorcycle. Works every time. Stealth horse, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. okay. Um, so who's next? I have an idea. Okay, Chip. Kind of a... Uh... I assume we're all coming, and Carl, if you'll grant me this, uh, we're kind of in touch as we're doing our investigations. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we, I kind of am aware of what's going on with you. You, ha yeah, you have secure would, comms. Yeah, yeah, I would have said that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys have secure um, comms. Assume that between yourselves. Because Chip got an idea. God. Chip's going to use all his uh, cybernetics that are de devoted to communication to spoof a phone number. And put a call through to Matthew Tompkins at the Shout Network. <laughs> okay. Hey, Matthew Tompkins. Hey, Matt. It's Chip. How you doing, buddy? I didn't expect to hear from you so soon. I've got some bad news for you, man. What? What's um, up? They know all about Operation Flying Man. Uh, what? They know. They know that you know about Namor, and they know everything that you Beep! know about Namor. That goes offline. <laughs> please, please, please let him mark experience for that. That's awesome. Yes, mark experience, Matt. <laughs> Thank oh, you. <laughs> this call has been intercepted. <laughs> nice. Article 13. All Information right. Information is a knife. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, uh, you get that guy in trouble. Um, Scott? Uh, I will. Uh, I'll do some uh, some research on this extractee that we, we didn't find out a whole lot about. Okay. Um, why? Uh, don't you make That's a up my alley of skills? Yeah, this is. Um, and you have what's the the skill for this is called? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu, sorry, uh, research. research. You've got a mind plus three. Yes, I do, and I have a uh, plus one on going to research with my sift. Okay. Hey. Look at that. Look at that. Getting, a Getting a little echo for that. Scott. Okay. okay. Um, uh, all right. So you can take Intel. Okay. Okay. T -t Tell me your questions. Let's see. Um, God, I'm trying to remember what we found out. Uh, uh, before, who was she and who did she work work for? Is that your question? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, so what you've got is that uh, her name was Octavia. Um, she seemed to have been a long-term operative, like someone put inside... Savage Pharma. Um, uh, she might have had some connection with this other team that went in. You're not sure about that. Um, but you can get uh, this, this stuff on, on, you know, see her. And you'll kind of follow back. And now that you know that she's 
an uh, you know an agent. Now that you have these other pieces of, to put together, um, you can kind of crack her crafted, uh, you know, uh, ident and start kind of working back there. And it takes a while uh, for uh, you to do that, um, and uh, it will lead you back to a place called Valhalla Security. And it looks hey guys, I hate to interrupt. I'm so sorry. My son's not feeling well. I need to tend to him for a little bit, so I'm going to be away from the, the keyboard for a while. Oh, My yeah, apologies. if you wanted to do that, I used to have him murder you earlier. <laughs> sorry, That's I didn't okay. know this would come up, so Damn. I'll be back. Okay. Just hit him with a uh, rag dipped in color forms. <laughs> it only leaves a mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Uh, Scott, yeah, Valhalla Securities. You it, you kind of trace back, um, kind of cover ident to that. Okay, so uh, so I, I had sort of suspected that she may have been uh, uh, a League of Assassins plant in there, but does this dissuade me? Do or have I heard of this? Yeah, no, this doesn't seem like anything you've heard of. You don't think she was a League of Assassins plant. You kind of know the signs. This uh, this doesn't look like that. Uh, okay. Uh, do I, I have three questions? Sure, let's say three. Is that what the research gives you with the, the yeah. 12 or whatever? You get another hold. Uh, what are you saying? Um, but... Uh, What was her? Uh, uh, try to dig more in. What was what was her uh, relationship uh, to this other team? Did she have a relationship with Seraphim, Third Eye, Genghis Khan, Arachnos, or Bitrat? I have those names, so I sort of try and tra track that down. So your sense of it is that. Uh, um, she had a uh, relationship with uh, Third Eye, uh, the tech person from there. Um, like, kind of off the books. It's one of those things where you kind of have to track back, and it's mostly because you've kind of gotten some composite, like, pictures of her, and you, you know, pull up and sift through the, the, the daily lives of those guys from the other team. And find that there seemed to have been some kind of personal relationship there. So it may well have been a personal op that went bad, or Bitrat was using her, or something else. Does that, does that seem like fair info? It seems like a, a fair uh, info. Uh, so I guess my last question. Hmm. That's kind of a long shot. Did in in that information I got on uh, uh, Octavia? Uh, did it include like what she looks like? A picture? Oh yeah, you got a picture. Yeah, you got a composite from that. Yeah. Uh, I will run that picture, um, the same way, um, that I ran Namor's and see if she shows up in any of the superhuman databases. Yes. Do you want more than that? Yes, I want more than that. She's listed under the code name Valkyrie. Um, and again, this is restricted stuff. A lot of that 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 history and stuff has been erased. Um, but you connect her to the, you know, the the early twenty tens, twenty twenties, as some kind of of uh, super strong. 
person from that era. Uh, so from what I'm reading of that, uh, is it is it possible that she survived the explosion? Anything's possible. So, uh, Ben. I assume the superhuman database lister is deceased or something. The, the, the superhuman database that you find, the sort of the black ops stuff that's hidden, you know, lists missing, dead, all of that kind of stuff. Um, uh, real hard to get into, and that stuff is highly monitored. All right. Well, I won't push too far in, uh, in there. Okay. Um, ben, what about you? Uh, I'm going to prepare for the job through my storage um, ability. Okay. Um, so essentially getting some, some protective gear and some info tracking stuff, uh, things to set up. Okay. Things Let's... that we might use and things that might be useful. Sure. Why don't you make uh, a roll for me? How do I make that storage roll? Is it, um... Isn't it mined or am I off on that? I'm back, by the mm. way. What? Did you hit him with that color form thing? Chloroform? No, no. Does this smell like chloroform? Uh, so... Storage. Uh, yeah, roll mind, Ben. Roll mind, okay. Let me just write that down on my sheet, sir know what that is next time okay uh mind Boonk. roll oh no hmm so um ben you're kind of hunting down through your stuff down here in your your basement or your shop um when you will kind of hear the alarms go off upstairs and okay kind of I look up in my monitor and see. Monitors, it looks like uh there is a an assault team that is swarming into the area and uh getting ready to breach your uh workshop hmm okay so i assume i have some kind of security just simple security in place so i'll uh sure tell me what it's like uh so basically uh it it's able to lock down the shop um notably especially the basement not so much the upper floors but okay. <clears throat> um into sort of a safe room um just you know kind of simple armor armor door <clears throat> kind okay. of thing and uh he um do i recognize these people at all or no they're okay, not so they're not they're not dressed in any kind of official uniform or anything. Mm. Mm. Okay. So I, I, I go and uh, um, wake up uh, Beauty and the Beast. Okay. <laughs> You'll hear that fritz as your upstairs monitoring equipment goes out. You've got the, mm. the armored stuff locked down, but they clearly got some techs on site. Okay. Okay. And he's uh, he's you know hits the side of the monitor and then he's uh um uh, doing some final adjustments with beauty and the beast and i wake up and <clears throat> i sent off um beauty to be ready and I have my hand wrist monitor monitoring through beauty <clears throat> so is your intent to what do you want to do here because you're kind of in a dangerous situation do you want to try and get out or do you want to try and and deal with them kind of face to face here uh, I think I'm going to deal with them face to face. Okay. Go Ben. Okay. Um, so uh, you will send Beauty up, um, and you're trying to get uh, an assess here. It seems like to me. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you roll your assess action? That's edge. Edge, right? You edge lord. As yeah, this hit it's... squad comes for you. Mm -hmm. So that's a five. Do I mark experience every time I fail like that? Absolutely. Yeah. You get two points right there. <laughs> Jeez. All right. <clears throat> um, so they clearly know you. Um, 
because when you send beauty up and stuff, um, and you're going to look at your thing, um, there's that brief where they, where they go, uh, uh, drone one's out, and they fire something off, and beauty drops. Hmm. All right. So I'll, um, through my, let me see if I read this right. Uh, Do you have a cool way to get to your vehicle from here? Or? Yeah, so I, my wheel's ability is cyberlinked, right? So I'm going to wake yeah. up. Uh, it's called Rhino, by the way. So sure. I'm going to wake up Rhino <clears throat> and um, uh, get ready to get on board and uh, have um, uh, Beast uh, pave the way for me. <clears throat> okay, so that sounds like to me like you are uh, right now. Uh, trying to act under pressure to get out of the situation, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and since you're using a, a beast to kind of blow through, get up to the vehicle and stuff, let's have you roll cool. There you go. All right. So describe to me what that looks like. You're going to be able to barrel out of here, get your drone up into this thing, and take off in the vehicle. Um, uh, describe to me what that looks like. So he's... Um uh so n clearly he reads that they have recognized beauty so that that uh he suspects and he's so he's a little bit of an edgy person to begin with um cautious and always thinking of uh, uh you know steps ahead and contingency plans and plans within plans so he's he's ready he's racing up there and he's uh he sees beauty's uh down so he sends a beast out <clears throat> in front of him and um just ready to guns blazing paving a path and meanwhile Reiner wakes up with a roar <clears throat> um, doors come down and he uh, climbs in there and uh, snatches up beauty in the, on the way <clears throat> sweet smash through uh, uh, get out and and book um, and you'll be able to to break out and get away um, and and hit the road um, but you know that that shit is going down sound good yep okay <clears throat> Carl, let's cut back to you. Okay. Um, am I informed of what's happening with... Uh, we always assume that uh, the other players know what has happened in the other scenes. Okay. And I'm going to suggest that we work as teams, have a backup to be able to help each other out. Um, uh, I... <laughs> Okay, so uh, Lexington wasn't going to know. He didn't know anything. Uh, no, but he's he is, it, he's a smart enough guy. You think that he probably went to ground fast, and you put the bug in his ear about this. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, I got 10 points. Uh, I was going to buy uh, FaceTime from the fixer list. Oh, what does that do? Gives me plus one to fast talk when there's no uh, and face to face conversation with no intervening technology. Excellent, that's a good one. Look at you goobing your fast talk. Up. I don't know what you're talking about. Such a goober! I gotta watch you. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think we, re you know. And if you really think about it, what you should do is give me some money. <laughs> well, speaking of goob, does this count as we have got the job and that we're trying to stay alive? No, because no one's paying us. Uh, no, mind. but but you know what? I think you do know that shit is going down, so I will let everybody mark experience. Woohoo! I hit a milestone. Um, so, okay. Um, so so Xavier, since I told you my uh, thing, I will I will tell you that we should attempt to contact this Valhalla Corporation. Maybe they will. Uh, they're probably the ones that hired us to get. Uh, 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 Octavia out, and they they probably aren't real uh, keen on what Savage, Savage Pharmaceuticals was doing down there, which was probably why they, she was down there in the first place. Okay, well, that's, a, that's an interesting ally. Um, uh, okay, so do we know anything about Valhalla Corp? Beside, what, what did you find out exactly? I mean, it's... it's that well, I found out that, that, that... I found out that... Uh, that it exists. Octa <laughs> okay, that, that it, it exists. exists. And Octavia was a member of it, and according uh, to historical records, she looks an awful lot like a superhero, 
heroin right. called Valkyrie. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Okay. Um, how are they killing people? To playing? Um, that's that's fine. I'll be more than happy to work with you on that. Fizzy um, water though would be fine. Um, the only other thing that I can see is if Clang survived and then you know I I, I don't know. I, Okay, uh, well, I can't do any research on... I mean, I'm not good at that, so if you give me a place, you give me an office, I can go in and find that out. Um, do you want to see if you can find anything about where, where they're located or what their contact is or something? Uh, if, I can, if I can assist him in finding a, uh, a contact for Valhalla Corporation that he can speak to, I will... Well, I don't know if... I don't think... Because uh, that's going to be more like research or something, Lul. Yeah, well, he can he can sift through it. I mean, if you guys want to join together and we consider that he's with you sifting and that that's an, an aid action. Well, yeah, he's good at research, though. I should aid him instead of yeah. That sounds good. Me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. that's fine. All right, that's fine. I'll do. I'll, I'll, yeah, I can talk. So to we'll, the, we'll assume you guys are are at a, uh, 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 you know, a secure location where you can meet up. Um, okay. Let's have you roll that aid action. You have plus three links with him, don't you? Not with. Uh, I have only one with. Uh, one with Trace. Uh, with Trace. I have three with Xavier. Okay. Clearly, oh. I know Xavier much more than. Oh, okay. So well, roll, Carl. Okay. So. Okay. Turn my brain on. Links. It's up here somewhere. Links. There we are. Okay. Maybe we should uh, group up in better ways. <laughs> Trace, why don't you roll? You are no help. Uh, research. Yes. This is where it all goes horribly awry. Uh. Uh. Eight plus the one for my sifting is nine. Uh, plus is absolutely nothing from Xavier is still yeah. nine. So, uh, Trace, you're kind of working on this uh, with Xavier. He's not particularly helpful. Um, and you will uh, kind of look up from your screen uh in this, you know, this this area, this kind of backroom secure place that you've you've put together for to, to do the kind of the hack thing, you know that uh, Ringo is kind of evading security uh, out there. You know that uh, Chip is getting people killed out there. Um, you know that uh, uh, Rake is on the run, um, and you see this woman standing there in the office with you. Uh, she's kind of dressed in a long coat, kind of like a like a, a trench coat kind of thing, um, and she's kind of standing there, um, pretty calmly looking at you. And where was Xavier who's supposed to be guarding me? Z Xavier looks up. This first he's seen of her either. How are you doing? This is wait wait. This is this is Trace's place. Yeah. And she's just there. Yeah. You go, uh, hello, how you doing? Um, Do we recognize we her? No. She says, Mr. Xavier, Mr. Trace. Yes? You have uh, a number of interesting skills talents and you also have the hounds of hell on your tail right now many many people at many many high levels wanting you deceased are you one of them no i'm not in fact i'm one of the people who i think can make it all right for you I like that. How could you help us? How could we how could you help us help you? I would like to hire you for a mission. 
Bum bum bum. Okay. Bum bum bum. Butter bum bum bum. What uh, would this mission be? I'm going to need you to do me a run against Savage Pharma. Okay. And how does that? Oh, and how does that relate? Because if you can make a run against Savage Pharma and get me what I'm looking for, then I can make sure that you are in a position to deal on equal footing with those who would act against you. So you've got some magic. Yes. Tell, tell us. Tell us. Tell us what this magic is, because you know. Says. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you that I have a job for you. I'm going to tell you that you can think about it for a minute or two, and then I'm going to walk out of here. I'm going to tell you my name is Loki, and I'll let you think on that. Look, and um, that's where we're going to some... stop tonight. Oh, okay. okay? Okay. Does that seem good? Yeah. We're I... screwed! You're such a bastard. I love you. And next session will be the final session, all right? That was good. That was awesome. I, I, I sort of suspected when Valhalla Industries came up. I thought mm. you might dig that. So, That's Lowell, cool. I, I have a question. Sure. Because as, as, this is, as we're wrapping up, it's tying more and more into the previous campaigns. Do you have a sense of where that world is going after this? After this? After 2099? Yeah. I don't know. Um, it'll depend on what you guys do. I mean, I can certainly see, you know, there being more cyberpunk store stuff, or I can see it going to being more of a, like, Spider-Man 2099 kind of thing. Well, that's my question was more in terms of gaming. <laughs> do you have other ideas about stuff to do with this world? This is super fun. I oh, think. yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, you know, if, <laughs> if, in, 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 uh, if in the far future you guys wrap up with the Pathfinder and... Uh, you want me to come back and and run something here? I'm glad to do that. You just got to give me a couple months' notice. Um, though I would give you. I mean, it doesn't have to be a couple months, but I mean, I'm in. If you're if you're running. I'm oh yeah, in. no, no, I, and and I will run for you guys again when when Scott finishes Pathfinder. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, just yeah, give me yeah. two months' notice because because for the other games that I run online, I'm I'm scheduled out two months ahead. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I, 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 feel like, I, I feel like we've got an established pattern here now. Like yeah, yeah. We do one of your games. <laughs> Then we do a side game, and then back into your games. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Scott, I mean, are you... Because what's your guess at a timeline? I mean, a year? Six months? Two years? What, 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 what are you thinking? I'm telling you right now, I'm going to say six months. It depends on how many sessions that we get off, but I'm not going to go... I'm okay. not going to do a super long... Okay, no, that's fine. Okay. Well, just give me... You know, and, and of course, schedules change, but if you guys give me two months' notice... That's about okay. how far out I plan the other games, so that will help me. Okay, great. Okay, all right, but we'll talk about that next time uh, because uh, we're going to go for the, the the big score uh, uh, here as <laughs> to you guys save our lives as you do a raid on the League of Assassins. I mean, Savage Pharma. No, they're going to kill us. <laughs> it's an interesting take to do superheroes through.